I'd say 10, 15 minutes is all it costs, yet it's £1.55. With the fare increases, it will be £1.60, £1.65 for me, just for a single. And 15 minutes on a bus is simply just too much to pay. Um, I mean, especially as A-Line Travel are currently what? Oh, sorry, uh, offer, offering uh, single journeys for li as little as 80p. Half the price, I mean, which one are you going to choose? Yes, they're Mercedes Barriers, but would you pay another 80p if you'd go on a dense train and do it? No, I would not. No. Definitely not. You'd probably break down halfway as well, wouldn't you? Yeah, on the unreliability. The unreliability was first. Um, yes, Alan Travel don't offer return fares, but you can get there and back for the same as a single journey with first. So is that applicable? Really, you have to think, why if first... Well, there are a couple of reasons why First Wind have increased it. Firstly, it's because of the decrease in fuel prices recently, and as well as the Tamar of Brit Tall Point Ferry increase. So, they sort of do have a reason behind it. But, uh, J driver Jamie Lim commented uh, last week that the return price from Great Park in Tall Point to Plymouth is now more than the day ticket is. First replied to this by saying drivers should always, uh, drivers are reminded that they should always offer their passengers the cheapest fare. But really, why would you buy a return at all when the day ride's cheaper? It, it simply makes no sense when you think about it. So, that's it. Send your views in if you'd like to. Well, you can comment on it, or whatever. Well, the LNL show is now starting to approach Plymouth. We have just left this card. Our next stop for German, so Ash and then finally Plymouth. Yeah. Absolutely. Weirdly, we've stopped at station in Cornwall, but yet we won't be stopping at any of uh, the Plymouth area. Except Plymouth. Except Plymouth, yes, indeed. And yeah. she will be continuing his journey to... Who's in Indeed. So, I will continue my... That's quite nice if you want. Almost. It's enough time for us to say goodbye. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's time to say goodbye. Right, we'll say thank you to Stuart for a brilliant day. It has been very good enjoyed. Have you enjoyed stuff, Stu? Yeah, I have enjoyed myself. Okay. Good, 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 good news, good yeah, news. We'll have to do it again. Yeah, good news. We'll have to do an area. Another area next time. Yeah, good yeah. news. For the other show. The Alan Al Show is it? Alan Al Show not signing out from Cornwall. No, we haven't finished yet. Oh, not finished yet. Yeah. Okay. Anybody knows any good areas, please leave a comment on the blog and we'll get back to you and then we'll come up and say hi, whatever. And yeah, that's it. Yes. As long as they're not too far away. Obviously not. Like, we, really we can't go to Antarctica. Yeah, far away. <laughs> or America, that's it, as well. Might be. I don't know like American trains. Don't like American trains. Yeah, that. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Hello, hello to Ben Morrill. Hello Ben Morrill. Ben Morrill again. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello Ben. Hello, hello to you, yeah. Hello. It's Ben Morrill, the guy on Facebook. Yeah. He's very talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'll oh, get down, am I? Oh, no. Naughty. Erm, um, you see it? Yeah, he has, yeah. yeah. You've been having Facebook. Uh, well, yeah, what, yeah, who yeah. else can we say to? Well, seeing as Wait, Shep, seeing Hello, Farley. Hello, Farley. Hello, Farley. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Seeing as I'm usually read out on David Shepard's show, I think it's only fair that I should uh, read David Shepard out. So, uh, we have a message here from uh, David Shepard. It says, Hello, 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 Show. Um, uh, well done on your first podcast show thing. It's been brilliant. Thank you for that awesome message. Yeah, he also mentioned that Ours is uh, much better than his Radio Devon show. He said we had to off the box and random. Yeah, so we have a degree in English or whatever he has. Radio Devon. Will David Shepard put this on BBC Radio Devon? Well, I think we should have a slot on BBC Radio Devon first thing. I fell asleep earlier. <laughs> I don't care. And I flinched. <laughs> <laughs> and it made me... This thing... This thing started playing on the train. I flinched and everyone else laughed. And I would say, well, me up. Oh, my God. Can we replace Shep and Joe? Lewis and Lawrence, LL. We're now Britons and Germans.
We should, we should have Change here, force the German. You're an idiot. And also the Viaduct. Oh, I'm sure. Well, you can. also a bus route. That's exactly what I was going to say. I only do it a day, though. Of course, that. Well, I, on four Monday times a day. Monday to Friday. And Monday to Friday. So it's not today. Not but unlucky. Today. But I've got the A-line and got away to the 40 hours. I don't know these people. I have to keep here from the day out. Yeah. Yes, it's... Yeah. Now, where are we going now? We're turning off now. Well, we might do another one when we get to we'll do when we get when we get to Perth, we'll see them. Yeah. Yes, in Perth. Well, you're in Germany now, and you have an easy home. Okay. There so we go. So, this is the final part of the... The Allo Show. The Allo Show for today. We have safely arrived in Plymouth at... It's quarter... 1845-ish. Quarter to seven now. Yep. And I'm off to go home to Florence. Well, I've got an hour wait for his bus. I have. We've got about an hour until the entrance to Innsbruck Road, wherever that is. Right, so that's that. Lewis and Lawrence signing off. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Join us next week for a thrilling trip with the RRL show. Bye.